And then Mark Hamill demon pops up out of his cheek as he starts talking shit. It's like, I'm going to swallow your soul, swallow your soul, swallow your soul. And, you know, Indoor's like, I'm sorry. He keeps doing that. He's like, that's fucking, and he mad he's like, that's fucking interesting. He's still able to repress him. But now he's like popping up randomly on his body, like a part of like his face just grows out. And he's like teeth and eyes. He's like, ah, but he represses a chap. Hello, I just wanted to thank you for clicking on my video, and I wanted to let you know, not only do I create content on my YouTube channel here, Class in a Glass, but I'm also on Twitch, where I play single-player games, multiplayer games, I do movie reviews, cartoon reviews, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Also, it would be a big help if you can check out my Patreon, where you can gain access to uh, audio commentaries, reactions, and the ability to submit questions for my podcasts and videocasts. And all that content can be found in the links below. In the meantime, enjoy the video. Now that we got all that platform shenanigans stuff out of the way, chat, we got to get to the nitty gritty details of tonight. As you know, I am doing a scene by scene by scene by scene breakdown chat for Jujitsu Kaisen episode two. I did episode one last week chat. Now I'm going to do episode two. And I might add this just to the new cartoon poll where I'll at least have you guys vote for it because this was a really fucking fun series shit. I've been really goddamn digging it. Then this episode, this is the episode that sold me. This is the episode, like, I already liked the first episode. I was like, this is very good. I like this. This is fun. But the second one, I was like, the personality of the characters really came through, shined through. It's like they're dealing with a very dark subject matter, but it's just something just so fun and whimsical about it. I, lo I love the uh, back and forth the characters had. And also, Matt Murdock, chat, fucking hilarious. I don't know what his real name is, but Matty Murdock, chat, he's him coming in, and he's just this this very uh, just fun guy to hand around, chat. Always got a joke. Love it, love it. We're going to get into the details of that. Then I'm going to jump into Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator, chat. Going to be lusting after a hot young dad, chat. See, I'm a single dad. My daughter's going to college, and I need a dad for me. I need a dad for me, chat. And then playing some more Sonic 06. So appropriate, chat. So appropriate with the debut of my newest platform. It'll be a good time. So, chat, let's go ahead and get into this review today. Jujutsu Kaisen, chat, episode two. I got a question for you, chat. I like to, usually before I do these reviews, I have a very important question I like to ask you. That question being, how many of you have seen Jujutsu Kaisen, chat? I'm very curious. I'm very curious. Hmm. Oh, true talk. Because I was watching Sonic 06 walk through earlier today. On that one stage, you're stuck or you keep dying. Have you tried to hit X, not tap on the X button or anything? Or just, uh, what's the difference between hit and X? And you, uh, you and tip, you need to do exactly line up with the rings. I got to be exactly line up with the rings? God damn, that's hard. That shit's hard, chat. That's hard. But yes. Back to Jujutsu Ju Kaisen. For your ask, I have uh, Decolic's favorite uh, currently running anime. No, uh, Mystic of Ducking. No, I haven't really totally lost my mind. Uh, Alex Bernal, I have. No, I'm sorry to hear the Mystic of Ducking. Alex Bernal, I have not. M. Xavier, never seen this show, but heard it's good. Mystic of Ducking, yeah, gotcha. Art Thief, I have not. Some maybe good to see Art Thief, by the way. So maybe I haven't yet. Uh, Kazuma, I haven't seen what? Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu, or Jujutsu Kaisen. I keep saying it uh, wrong. So I haven't heard of the show until now. In tow with words of Wu-Tang, can all be so simple? I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, James haven't seen Corbin. Well, you gotta do it. You got you can't escape uh, from out of bed. Mm, mm. But uh, nuts about who? So Chad, I did a review for this last Saturday. Uh, basically, the whole premise is it is about demons. It's about these goddamn witches and warlocks, Chad. These demon hunters, if you will, and they go after cursed objects, Chad. And you know what's attracted the fucking cursed objects? Demons. And you know what's in fucking uh, uh in cursed object, Chad? Curses, evil curses that that have all sorts of ramifications for humanity, chat. We got a whole bunch of uh, characters we're introduced to. The main character being Itadori, chat. Just this kind of seemingly regular kid. You know, he's got a dying grandpa. His grandpa died. He's mourning his dead grandpa, chat. Grandpa tells him, like, listen, you, I, I, listen, Itadori. I have spent my life alienating everyone I've ever loved and cared for. Don't do the same, Itadori. Save as many people as you can. And he's like, all right, he took it to the heart, he took it to the heart. And he's involved in this uh, this high school club uh, chat called the Occult Club. And the Occult Club, they managed to obtain a cursed object chat, a fucking finger. And it has a demon inside of it. It's, a, it's an asshole demon chat. It's the Mark Hamill demon chat. I don't even know, it's not Mark Hamill's voice, but I'm going to say it for convenience chat. It's the Mark Hamill demon. And then he's got this one demon hunter. That's after him trying to prevent this demon from escaping and killing people, chat. His name is Sassy. I don't know his name, uh, his real name, chat, but his name is Sassy. And he got Matt Murdock in there, chat. And shenanigans ensued. To catch up the last episode, chat, 
uh, Itadori, he saved his two friends, anime waifu and Brock from Pokemon, from this demon, okay, from this giant fucking demon. But in order to do so, chat, he had to consume the cursed object, this fucking mummified finger, and ate it. But now a demon lives inside of his tummy, okay, and, it's, and it's, it takes control of him, chat, it takes control of him, right? But he, but fucking Sassy says, that shouldn't be, I mean, it takes control of him. But for whatever reason, Sassy's able to c control the demon. He's try, he, we can repress him. And Sassy's like, this is fucking amazing. But what I must do, the only thing I can do now at this point is I got to execute you. That's what I have to do. And this is what he did over here. He's like, I got to be executed. It's like, holy fucking shit. And so we find ourselves right there, chat, at the school right there. You know, Brock and M.A. Waifu, they're off in a corner somewhere all fucked up and shit because they got grabbed by a bunch of hentai demons, chat. Do you know the time? They always said, do you know the time? And I don't know what that is. I'm not sure what that had to do with anything. Chad. The gym teacher was a pedophile, and I guess he turned into a demon. And I guess he would say, do you know the time? And does it smell like chloroform to you before you chloroform the kids and have his way with him, Chad? It was terrible. And he's buried, and he's buried in the rugby field somewhere, so it's, it's not good. But fucking Sassy's like, okay, I, I'm going to have to fight you. And Adore's like, but I, I got under control, man. It's okay. Don't worry about it. And you know who fucking shows up, Chad? Matt Murdock. Yes, Daredevil himself. At least that's what I think because he seems to be blind. He has a blindfold around his uh, his his eyes, chat, and it's like, oh, he's gonna be like super serious at things because we saw this character earlier on in the first episode, chat. You know, he was like, well, I, I put you in this weird fucking room filled with all these like little papers of all this like uh, magic. Uh, um, a script on him because I got to execute you. But now we see him come back here again. We're trying to catch up to you because it was all in flashback. This is the story he's telling. And Matt Murdock shows up. And he's like, sassy. I could see you haven't handled the situation. What's going on? He's like, ah, I'm so injured. This guy, he ate the cursed object. He's like, he fucking ate the cursed object? Wow, that is so goddamn cool. He's able to control it. And he's like, seemingly, and Inador, and Inador's like, hey, guys, um, so I know you guys are talking right now, but I'm a little confused about what's going on. And Miranda's like, don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to I'm gonna get with you in just a second. And he's like, uh, uh, sassy, hold this. And he's like, what is this? This is my lunch. I went to this wonderful little sushi place here in the sushi market. It's great. I'm going to I'm gonna fucking eat this shit when I'm on the bullet train. He's like, are you fucking serious? Like, Matt Murdock, chat. Yeah. He is so nonchalant and just funny about everything. And he's like, ah, oh, don't worry. Because he's been through it. He's been through it time and time again. So this is not his first fucking rodeo dealing with evil hentai demons yet. That's just how it is. Ronnie, welcome to the stream. I am doing wonderful. I am doing wonderful right now. And so while they're talking to a fucking adored, the Mark Hamill demon pops up. He's like, <laughs> yes, so much succulent flesh that I, could that I could consume. And he goes right at fucking Matt Murdock. The thing is, Matt Murdock, he's a fucking expert, chat. So he's able to fucking block all of Matt Mark Hamill's goddamn uh, moves as being thrown at him, right? And so big fucking you know, DBZ explosion and shit. And eventually, eventually, Itadori's be able to regain control. He gained control. And Memorick's like, hey, you seem like a really cool dude. Does this smell like chloroform to you? And he chloroforms the chap. Fuck, actually, he just fucking backhands him. He backhands him across the fucking face. Head, head hits uh, like a, a piece of concrete, chat. Severely concussed, severely concussed. And then we, we were in the room. Where we were in the first episode, chat, where fucking Inodori comes to, and Matt Murdock's like, listen, buddy, uh, I I've been told by the higher ups to kill you because they're a whole bunch of cowards. See, the thing is, this is the this is the whole this is the whole fucking shabam. I'm gonna tell it to you right now. There, the demon inside you, the Mark Hamill demon, uh, there's like 20 fucking uh, 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 like cursed objects, and you're like, oh, you mean like, uh, um. You mean he has like uh no 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 yeah just twenty for, uh, twenty cursed objects we have like six of them and you got one in your tummy now we've been trying to collect all these things here but it's impossible to destroy them so he like throws it against like the the wall that protects from like demon nonsense and the thing just like is is it, it doesn't do anything it doesn't burn up doesn't get destroyed it just keeps existing and so he, but. But we know that if a person consumes one of these things, okay, and it absorbs, it's absorbed into their body, if we kill that person, the cursed object also dies. And so the fucking council of demon slayers, they're like, listen, they just want to kill you right off so we eliminate one of these fucking things already. So it's like, boom, we're down one, don't have to worry about it anymore. The thing is, this is, this is, this, this is my idea. This is my idea, and I'm going to present it to you because I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. I'm not going to... No, it's Mark Hamill's not in the show. <laughs> but I just like to think that it's Mark Hamill. I just like to call him Mark Hamill. Matt Murdock's not in the show either. <laughs> I just like to call him that. <laughs> Anytime I think about, oh, a demon voice. The one that's a trickster. I always think of the Joker. That's the one I always think of. And he's like, in order to kill Mark Hamill, who lives inside your tummy, right? Uh, they just want me to do... They just want to kill you right now. However, however, I, pr I propose this to you, Itadori. I propose this to you. This is what we can do. 
you can live out your pretty much your whole goddamn life, right, right, but you have to spend it with us eating all these fucking mummified fingers filled with the Mark Hamill demon, all right? That's how we're going to fucking do it. That's how we're going to fucking do it. And then, once you eat them all, then we will kill you, and we will end the Mark Hamill demon forever. And Dory's like, so that's my options. Either I die here now, or I eat all these severed fingers with Mark Hamill growing more powerful in my tum-tum, and then you kill me. He goes, that's the best I could get for you, man. I mean, I, I think you're a cool guy. I think you're pretty cool. That's what I can do. And he's like, oh, fuck it. I'll take the deal. He's like, hell yeah, man. He's very happy about it, Chad. And Ina Dory's like, well, listen, I I'm glad that we, you know, we came to a nice arrangement here, but I'm, I'm, my death is inevitable. My, 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 my whole thing, at least what, what we can do, can we protect as many people as we possibly can? I want to protect my friends. This is what my grandpa wanted me to do. And he's like, that's what we fucking do as demon slayers, man. We go to this fucking uh, school that's actually just a, it's a cover. It's a facade. It's like a demon hunting school. And we hire all these people. We get all these kids in here. First year, second year, third years, fourth years. And we train them to, to hunt demons. And that's what we want to do, man. We just want to protect the world. I don't want to kill you. I, that's the last thing I want to do, personally. But the fucking council, they're a bunch of goddamn cowards. And so, no, man, we're, we're going to help as many people as we can. Help as many uh, of your friends as we can. I'm your friend, buddy. He's like, and that's what grandpa, that's what grandpa always said. Make fucking friends and care for your friends. And Matt Murdock is one of his goddamn friends. Sassy, also sassy, Chad. He got all fucked up. So they sent him back to the school. He, he's always, like, recovering and shit, trying to heal up, Chad, using magic juju and everything. Uh, but Iridori says, well, before I go, because they say, like, we, we, we're going to accept you into the school so we can teach you, like, demon uh, hunting magic and stuff. Uh, but is there anything you need to do uh, beforehand? And he's like, I want to go see my two friends, Anime Waifu and Brock from Pokemon. And fucking Mike Murdoch's like, yeah, man, go ahead. No problem at all. And so they... And so they, Chad, they, uh, he goes, they go to the hospital where Brock, now remember Brock, Chad, from Pokemon? So as we, last time we saw him, Chad, a fucking demon was eating like half of his fucking head. So he's not doing great right now. He's not doing great. Anime waifu, she got a little banged up, Chad. The demons were groping her, which I'm like, that's, that's inappropriate. But she seems to be okay. Just psychological scars, Chad. Psychological scars, but she's repressing them as we all should, Chad. Trauma. Psychological trauma, just repress it and just ignore it and don't acknowledge it. And she's sitting there. She's sitting there with Brock, who has half his head fucking gone. And Dory comes in. He goes, "Hey, listen, guys. Uh, I'm sorry for what happened. They don't even know what the crazy shit that went down. They don't know what's going on, Chad. He needs to keep them safe." And he's like, "I just want to came and visit, see how Brock's doing." She's like, "Oh, Ida Dory, I'm so." And she's like pushing her, the anime bazoongas, Chad, because she likes Ida Dory a lot. He's very hot, uh, obviously, Chad. He's, he's a charmer, no doubt about it. Although not his type. Anime waifu is not his type, Chad. We will learn what Ida Dora's type is very, very soon. He's like, here, I just came to check on you guys. Also, I got to collect my grandpa's dead, rotting corpse. Because he left the body there, Chad. They left the, 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 the grandpa's body there. He's like, I got to collect this thing. And she's like, no problem. No, just go and do what you have to do. It's fine. I'm just going to cry over Brock. And, you know, Itadori just feels really bad about the situation. But Matt Murdock says, so he's like, listen, don't worry about Itadori. Uh, what's going to happen is, what's going to happen is, I'm going to send one of, we're going to send one of our boys out here, one of our boys, one of our gals, and they're going to help Brock. They're going to help Anime Waifu. They're going to heal them. They're going to be okay. He's like, seriously? Yeah, that's what we do, man. We're here to help people. There's like, no problem. He's like, oh, thank you. That's really cool. That's really cool. And so they go to the, the, the cadaver room chat where grandpa is just bloated. He's like, he was like a small, frail guy, but as we know. As we all know, when, you've, when you're fucking rotten on a slab, you, all your internal gases to start to bloat you. She's like, oh, he's like, he's very large now. And they're like, okay, we got to put him in. He's like, I can't do anything with this body at this point. What do you want to do with grandpa? And he's like, I would cremate him at this point. I'm like, okay. And they put him in the, the cremation tube, Chad, and they set him on fire. And all the gas go, because he's filled with gas. And they burn them, and they, they pour the rest of Grandpa. There's still, like, bones of Grandpa. It's kind of fucking weird. They give, here's all the bones that's left, and here's all the, the dust and everything. And they put them in a Folgers uh, coffee uh, can, chat, just like in Big Lebowski. Here's your Grandpa in a Folgers coffee can. What a fucking life. Where you're born, you live your life, chat, and you're up in a fucking can of Folgers. That's a sad goddamn existence, chat, if I do say so myself. And at this point... Uh, uh, you know, uh, what's his name? Fucking Matt Murdock's like, hey, I know you're dealing with your grandpa right now, but I want to do a little test. You know, I mean, uh, you, you, you care about all these people, right? I said, well, that's what grandpa wanted me to do. He's like, cool. Hey, I had that finger that I threw at that one wall, uh, before. You want to eat this shit? You want to eat this shit? And he's like, uh, I really don't want to. He's like, no, I get that, but I have to kill you if you don't. And he's like, all right, fair enough. So he takes the finger, shit, takes the finger, um, eats that shit. And then the Mark Hamill demon goes like, <laughs> I'm free. I'm free to do everything I want. And he's like, represses it though. And 
And he's like, oh, shit, the fucker repressed it. Very nice, very nice. And he's like, yeah, I'm able to do that. He's a little rude. And he's like, no, it's okay, man. And then the fucking door opens up. And who walks in? Sassy. Because he wanted to check in on what uh, Itadori and uh, Matt Murdock were doing. And he's like, oh, no, I love you. you know, he's like, he's a little fucked up, though. Che isn't healed all the way. And it was like, oh, sassy, it's so good to see you. And he's like, oh, just fuck, just don't, you know, just don't, don't talk to me. He's like, well, you look great. He's like, you think this looks great? And he's got all these fucking horrific scars in his face. He got really fucked up. But he's getting better, Che, he's getting better. And so I was like, no, I'm here to take you guys to the goddamn Demon Hunter School. And so they go to the Demon Hunter School, to the Demon Slayer School. And it's all a facade. It looks like a, just a normal uh, normal goddamn school chat, but it's not. It's, they hunt demons. Okay? And then they had the facade like it's a religious Japanese school, right? And they're showing everything off. It's, it's very, very, it's very, very, very lovely. Very, very nice. And Matt Murdock's like, listen, uh, in order for you to get in, you're going to be of, well, I think one of two... Or three first years. That's all you have here. That's all you have here. We got another person coming in from um, uh, outside Japan. She's real cool. She's going to make a little cameo at the end of the episode. Uh, but you have to talk to the headmaster, okay? The director. Uh, if he does not, uh, you know, want you here, we will have to kill you. He goes, fuck, Jesus. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right, sure. And then Mark Hamill demon pops up out of his cheek as he starts talking shit. It's like, I'm going to swallow your soul, swallow your soul, swallow your soul. And, you know, Indoor's like, I'm sorry. He keeps doing that. He's like, that's fucking. And Matt Murdock's like, that's fucking interesting. He's still able to repress him. But now he's like popping up randomly on his body, like a part of like his face just grows out and he's like teeth and eyes he's like ah but he, he presses a chat eventually they go into like i guess the main administration building chat which is kind of like a dojo they go inside there and they see the uh the director chat the headmaster and he's all and, and fucking this point Itadori is like, you know, Matt Murdock, hey, this is uh, Itadori. He's, he's, he eats uh, mummified fingers and he has a demon inside of him. And I love this line. Itadori's like, hello, my name is Itadori. I, I prefer women that look like Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence is my wife. I was like, oh, look at that, just like me. I was like, I like this kid. I like this kid. And we see an anime version of Jennifer Lawrence later in the episode, which I thought was quite funny. I really fucking dug that. And so the, the fucking, and he's like, whoa, you know, he's like, notice something weird. The, the headmaster is surrounded by stuffed animals, Chet. Stuffed animals, and, and apparently he's been creating them. He sews them up and he stuffs them full of fluff and stuff like Chet. Like Winnie the goddamn poo. And Udor's like, what the fuck is with this guy? He goes, ah, oh, you don't, don't start messing with him. And, you know, the headmaster stands up. He's like, okay, what the hell do you want? And you think, why are you here? Why are you here? And he's like, ah, uh, I mean, I want to protect my friends from demons. I want to make sure that they're not her. And the fucking headmaster's like, wrong answer! And he's, he puts cursed energy inside of the uh, inanimate objects and stuffed animals, Chet. And this, this one stuffed animal, Chet, this little green bear, this little green ice cream bear, gets up and it's like, ah, just fucking attacks it to Dory. And starts beating the absolute shit out of him, Chet. It's like, holy mother of God! Just starts beating the shit out of him, Chet. Another thing you can do. And while this is going on, she, during this fucking epic fight scene, you know, Itadori is just like questioning his existence, like what he's doing. He's having an existential crisis in chat. What he, what he needs to do. And the, and the headmaster is just, uh, just keeps throwing questions at him. It's like, now, why are you here? Tell me why you're here. Why do you want to be here? And he keeps saying the same thing. He's just, I, I just want to protect my friends. I, that's why when he's like, wrong answer. And the, and the bear keeps beating the shit out of him. Until finally... In the door, he, he realizes, like, I've, all, I've spent all my, my life doing all these generic things. All I've done is lust after Jennifer Lawrence, read manga, and, uh, you know, not go to certain clubs. I've just kind of been isolated. I, you know, I've always been really good at sports. I've always been really strong. There's more to that. She's, like, goku level strong for every reason. It's like, why is he so fucking strong? Because there's, there's a mystery here. There's a mystery here. Uh, and so, uh, you know, but, but... But the thing, you know, he doesn't do anything. He, he's never done something for himself. And that's what the headmaster's looking for. He's like, why are you here? Why are you here? Because I want to do this for myself. I want to be able to defeat these. I'm doing this for myself to be a better person. So you, you can't just do it for other people. You also got to do it for yourself, man, okay? You got to have some self-respect. You got to have some self-respect. Respect the abilities that you naturally have. And, 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 and keep, uh, keep honing on them. Keep holding on them, refining them. Then you can become a better person. Then you can become a demon slayer. And then, you know, uh, Itadori basically says all this uh, stuff, Chad. He's like, this is what I want to do. Not only for these people, but also for myself. And he unlocks his chi. He unlocks his chi, Chad. And the headmaster's like, 
Nailed it, kid. I will accept you into Demon Slain School. And the bear just kind of gets a boom, boom, boom. He goes to sleep, goes to sleep, goes to sleep. He punches him a few more times. He's like, I'm sorry. The, I, I forgot to take the curse energy out of the bear. Uh, Matt Murdock, you help the kid. And Matt Murdock's like, I got you, I got you. And he takes him away. And then he shows him his uh, his new abode shed, his, his like his massive like little like little uh uh, uh not like a dorm room, but it's like kind of like an apartment almost. And he takes in there. It's all on the uh, grounds of the uh, school. And in the door is like, whoa, this place is fucking awesome. It's actually it's pretty good shit. It's like it's huge. And he puts up his anime poster of Jennifer Lawrence shit. He's like, hey Jen, how you doing? He's very happy about that. And Matt Murdock is like, you know what, Itadori, even though I inevitably have to kill you at the end of all of this journey that we're going on, you're a really cool guy. He's like, I like you too, Matt Murdock, and I do like that bro Carl Weathers, Arnold Schwarzenegger fist like in Predator chat. Yeah. And then uh, Matt Murdock's like, listen, we're going to have a, you're the only one here right now other than uh, Sassy. We're going to have another student that's going to come in soon. But uh, it's just going to be uh, you three uh, first years. And he's like, whoa, Sassy's here. He's like, yeah, actually, I think he's feeling better. And they go over to the next dorm. And Sassy, he just got up. She's like, oh, you're fucking here. Sassy's a little, he's like, mm. I get the sense he's kind of like the Vegeta of the show, Chia, although not as mean, not as mean. But he's very, he's a, he's a little uh, peeved by Itidori's appearance. And Itidori goes inside his room. He's like, whoa, it's so well organized. He's like, don't touch anything, okay? Everything is how it should be, okay? And Itidori's like, we're gonna be best friends, Sassy. He goes, ugh. And then Mamoruk's like, hell yeah, we are. Mamoruk's my favorite character in the goddamn show. I don't know what the fuck his name is, Sha, but it is hilarious. It's hilarious. And then he's like, I can't wait to meet the other first year. And we cut chat. We're at like a subway station. We're at a subway station and it's on a bullet train. And this new girl, this new girl chat, she's got like this uh, this red hair and she's like very excited uh, to be in Tokyo. Chat. And apparently it's revealed that she is going to be the new uh, student at the Demon Slayer school. And she's just very excited about it. She can't wait to meet all of her new goddamn friends and kill the fuck Odyssey and Demon Shan. And then you think, oh, that's the end of the episode. Chris is going to be like, and that's the end. But no, I saw, this is what sold me, chat. The ending of this has one of the best end credit sequences to an anime ever, of all time. Where it shows all the characters just fucking dancing, chat. <laughs> it's like this different art style. Looks like a fucking painting. But they got Itadori coming out, and he's just fucking doing a dance and shit. And he's kicking ass. He's like, whoo, whoo. And what they did, they rotoscoped over it. So they had people who were actually dancing. And they rotoscoped the characters over it, chat. So you saw Itadori, you saw Matt Murdock, Sassy, you saw this new girl character, chat. And they're just fucking joining this. Even the headmaster's like, whoo, just killing it, chat. I was like, that, and it, it charmed me. So I was like, this is, I watched that several times, chat. That, that, just that end credits. I was like, this is very fun. This has, a, this has a good sense of personality about it, chat. And I loved it for that. I loved it. It's like the take on um, the music. It's just it's so much fun. I really, really dug it, chat. And someday, you know, now, now, chat, that I have reviewed these two episodes, chat, back to back, these past two Saturdays. I will then give the show the respect that it deserves, chat. I will make an option on the cartoon polls for the future. Okay? I'm gonna um, it's gonna be among some other choices that you guys will be able to choose, of course. But and I will even start calling the characters by their real name, chat, because this this show has earned my respect. <laughs> it has earned my respect because it's very fucking funny. Uh but and there you go, my friends. That was Jujitsu Kaisen episode two chat. The journey fucking begins. Very enjoyable episode chat. Uh, currently, I watch this on HBO Max. I mean, HBO Max is a ton of fucking anime chat. Highly recommend checking out if you've not done so. It's super fun. It, it's both dark as hell, but also very fun and whimsical. Like, the personality of all the characters, like, this is weird. It's, a, it's, it's like a mixed match of tones chat. A lot of people say this is one of the best anime is going. I could totally see that. It has a great personality. It's not just, it doesn't just adhere to one thing. It's like, no, it's, it feels confident in, like, delving into all sorts of, um, uh, uh, not just just emotions, not just a singular. It's just like all over the place, and I kind of like that. It was, it was very enjoyable, chat. So thank you again uh, for the individual who donated the one thousand biddies for me to review it. I had a lot of goddamn fun. A lot of goddamn fun. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the review. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. My god, Chris has the outfit. I do have the outfit on, Larry Miguel. Of course I do. Of course. <laughs> oh yes, yes. But in case I miss anyone, again, welcome to stream. Hope you're all doing very well tonight. Good to see you. Mm. Mm. I wish Mark Hamill was in this show. That'd be fucking amazing. Great old man. Thank you, James. <laughs> I like my old man voice. Oh. 
Mm-mm. Jessica, I can want to wait until it ends right now because I never finished most Shonen shows. Ah, I get you. It's, it's a sh- I guess it is a Shonen show. Man, it's a great personality, though. Uh, Edman, so getting names raised, a man of respect, it all makes sense. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I might Gojo is equals Matt Murdock. You want to tell me the names of the characters? So uh, I got Ida Dory. I got Ida Dory. I'm going to still call probably him Matt Murdock, though. Go, go, Matt Murdock. <laughs> or Gojo, excuse me. <laughs> I'm going to still call him Matt Murdock. Uh, so I'm going to still call Sassy Sassy. I'm going to still do that, yeah. Uh, I'll call Itadori Itadori just so people can know. It's like, what the fuck is he talking about? That one. Your interview, I'm definitely going to watch. You just It's super fun, sir, maybe. It's like, uh, again, I highly recommend it. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to feel about this, but after episode one, especially after episode two, I was like, okay, this is pretty goddamn fun. It's it's it's, it's a good show. That end credit sequence killed me. I was like, all right, it's, it's, it's good, it's good good sense of uh, personality to it. 